We begin tonight with a new twist to this video. It shows local officers appearing to punch a man while he's on the ground. Well, now that man is the subject of an all out manhunt in South Florida. Good evening. I'm Juwan Strader. And I'm Jackie Nespro. Thanks for joining us. It's a story we've been monitoring for hours now. Let's get right out to NBC6 reporter Stephanie Bertini live in Miami with the latest on the search. Stephanie. Jackie, police say his name is Laskeel Richards. He's 25 years old, according to police. Detectives say he stands 5'11", and he's about 190 pounds. He has a tattoo of a crown on his neck, different from the photo you see there. That's the most recent photo we were able to get. He was in police custody after an arrest yesterday. We reported that arrest. Well, police say he escaped the hospital. He was brought here while under arrest because he needed treatment. That escape, according to police, happened just before 6 p.m. They say he was wearing blue scrubs and had a cast on his arm. Police say those scrubs were found in the parking lot of the medical examiner's office just across from the hospital, and they say his cast was also found nearby. When a suspect is arrested, we do have to, in other words, like babysit him until he is officially taken into the jail. So we were with him, and somehow he waited for the right moment to escape. He ran, officers ran after him, but were not able to catch up to him. So police say there was an officer monitoring him, but he somehow got away, got out of the hospital, and took off. A major perimeter was set up here. When we first got here, we came to you live at 7 o'clock, and we showed you the heavy police presence in the area. They set up a perimeter from Northwest 16th to Northwest 20th, and from Northwest 7th to Northwest 12th Ave. They searched for hours, but as of last check, before coming to air, we're told this man is still on the run. When he was arrested, Arrested yesterday was on a fugitive warrant for robbery, carrying a concealed firearm, and giving false information. In addition, he was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer, as well as resisting an officer with violence and obstruction by disguise. Now, police say that this has happened here at the hospital at Jackson Memorial. He will likely face even more charges. He also has a rap sheet that extends into Broward County. Police say he had a robbery charge there and he had a charge for removing an anchor. Ankle bracelet. This is why police consider him dangerous. They're saying if you spot him, if you see him, do not approach him. Instead, pick up the phone, call police, or call Crime Stoppers. I'm reporting live. Stephanie Bertini, NBC6 News. Stephanie, thanks for that. And of course, we first learned of Richards after video of his physical encounter with police surfaced on social media. Let's get right out to NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola live in Miami with more. And Jamie, what a twist to this story. Quite the trick twist, Jackie. And even though the suspect may not be caught yet, his first arrest was caught on camera. Police say he resisted arrest, but witnesses say officers went too far. Look how he got his face on the ground, Ma. Why? Oh, the police punching him. Why is he punching him? The person taking this video in shock as she witnessed and broadcast on Facebook Live this rough arrest by the Miami Police Department. The video appears to show officers punching a man, 25 year old Laskeel Richards, who is already on his knees with one arm behind his back. The woman screams that officers also kicked the man, leaving his face bloody. A lot of these police go out here and they act off of anger. They act off of what's being said to them instead of focusing on what their job at hand actually is. Tonight, the interim chief says the department is reviewing the video and evidence to determine if excessive force was used. But according to an arrest report, Richards was resisting arrest, ignoring verbal commands. They still got this man in the back seat. They still putting their hands on this man, bro. Officers say they asked Richards to get out of the car after the vehicle he was in was pulled over for speeding. Police say he tensed up and grabbed an officer by the wrist to avoid handcuffs. His hands behind his back, so why he was punching him? The video does not show what happened the moments before Richards was on the ground. Rodney Jacobs, assistant director for the Citizens Investigative Panel, has the job of reviewing complaints of excessive force. Jacobs wouldn't comment on this specific arrest, but did say it was concerning. I'd imagine that the state attorney's office may look into it as well as it could involve a battery or assault of another person. Um, I'd imagine when those investigations wrap up, we'll, we'll see it in our offices. 
All right, so while the top brass continues to look into this arrest and whether excessive force was used, there is no word on any duty status changes for the officers involved. Reporting live tonight from Miami Police Headquarters, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. Jamie, thank you.